So B stands for brackets. Any doubt? Yeah, no. no D stand yeah. D stands for division. M is for multiplication. A is for addition, and S is for subtraction. Any doubt till here? No, no doubt. So I'll take few examples, and then you can start. So for example, if this question is there, and I have to apply the rule of uh, bead mass, so what I'll do is I'll have to see if you see, I'll have to do the division part first. Any doubt till here? No. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll first divide these two minus thirty eight by thirty eight. Okay. Is it make is it making sense till here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, you know the very simple way of looking at a division is so. For example, I have minus thirty eight, and I divide it by thirty eight. Now division division rules are very simple. When I'm dividing thirty eight by So minus 38 by 38. This 38 and 38 will cancel, and only minus one will remain. Any doubt till here? Oh no, no doubt. So basically, so, subtraction. Uh, not exactly because uh, say for example, say for example, I had uh, minus three divided by minus uh, minus nine. For example, let me put it like this: minus three divided by minus nine. Now here, this three and this nine will cancel. So I'll I'll have one by three. But in division, what happens is that this minus and min minus also gets cancelled. So the answer would be plus one by three. Is it making sense? No, I don't get that. Okay. Uh, let me take another example. Let me say I have to divide minus nine divide by Minus three. Is it making sense? Yeah. Okay. Now three and nine will cancel, so I'll have three here. Any doubt till here? No. Okay. This minus will get cancelled with this minus. Is it okay? Okay. And the answer would be three. Any doubt? Should I take another example? Should I take another example? No, I got it. Uh, let me take another example. So let us let us say I have to divide minus twenty five by minus five. Yeah, can you tell me the answer? What will be the answer? Uh, five. Five. Perfect. Very nice. So the answer would be five because this five and twenty five will get cancelled, and this minus will get cancelled by this minus. Making sense? Yeah. I can. I'll just take another example, and then uh, you'll understand what is because division is uh, division of integers is far more simpler than the multiplication of integers. So, you know, usually students uh, understand it within five minutes. Let me take just another example. So, let us say I have to divide nine by minus three. Can you tell me the answer? Mine. Yes. Six. No. No. So three will get divided by nine. The answer would be three. This minus three, this minus sign will remain. So this will look something like three upon minus one. Is it making sense? So like minus three. No. The in the numerator the three remains, and in the denominator minus one is there. Is it making sense till here? No, I don't get that. Okay, so let me do this on the and on a blank page. So let us say I am dividing nine by minus three. Is it making sense? Yeah. So this three will get cancelled by this nine. So I'll have three in the numerator. Is it okay till here? But why do you have to make it a fraction? Yeah, there is no use. Okay, see, I'm taking a longish path. Okay, I'm taking a longish path just to explain that finally this would be equal to minus three. I'm just taking a bit longer. I'm just adding a step more. 
you can directly write the answer as minus 3 if you want any doubt no so let me take another example so let us say if i have to divide 25 by minus 5 now can you tell me the answer minus 5 savash so directly you can write the answer as minus 5 are we okay till here yeah so for division the very simple rule is you know if there is a positive number it is divided by a positive number the answer would be a positive number if a positive number is divided by a negative number the answer would be a negative number a negative number divided by a positive number the answer would be a negative number and if a negative number is divided by a negative number the answer would be a positive number any doubt till here uh, no so division is far more simpler and uh, you know far more uh, non confusing uh, compared to multiplication so for division these four rules are there these are simple enough rules so that is why i thought of discussing these when we are doing this uh, bd mass now this is what we were discussing 5 uh, minutes back so minus 38 uh, divided by 38 is minus 1 are we okay till here yeah okay so i have done the first step where when i see all these operations the first operation the first mathematical operation that i have to do i have to do division so between division multiplication addition and subtraction division is always the first step that i do any doubt till here no so minus 1 Plus five multiplied by multiplied by minus three. This is my second step. Now, Arman, can you tell me which operation should I do next? I have uh, done shabash. I'll do multiplication next. So what I'll do is I'll do multiplication of five and minus three. Can you tell me the answer? Um. Minus. Shabash. Minus fifteen. Yeah, this is what. Fifteen. Minus fifteen. This is what we had done yesterday. Yeah. Now after this, minus one and minus fifteen. What will be the final answer? Um, minus sixteen. Shabash. Answer will be minus sixteen. Any doubt? No. Great. But I'll do one. Also, yeah. Please. I'm sorry. Isn't there also addition? No. We didn't see, do addition. Yeah. See, there is, there are. Howsoever you want to look at this, howsoever you want to look at this, you can call this an addition of two uh, negative numbers, minus one and minus fifteen. So, howsoever you are comfortable with this, so minus one minus fifteen is equal to minus sixteen, and that is it. Any doubt till here? No. Okay. So let me take a second example also, and then you can solve rest of the questions. See, the division of the numbers is very simple. Uh, I have chosen the numbers in such a way that the division is very simple. So, for example, in this case, minus fifty-seven divided by nineteen. Can you tell me the answer? Uh, it. Minus fifty-seven divided by nineteen. Yeah. Minus fifty-seven divided by nineteen. multiplied by minus 2 yeah so this is the second step what 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 should i do after this second step what should i do in the third step 5 times a uh, minus shabash very nice 5 times minus 2 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 shabash and what will be the final answer a uh, minus 13 very nice very nice this is a second uh, i'll just give you a hint so for, so for example 57 divided by 19 is 3 so similarly 76 divided by 38 would be 2 have you understood yeah so now from uh, you first do the questions from 3 to 10 we'll discuss and then we'll do rest of the five questions can you do these questions 3 to 10 okay
Great. Stop. Yeah, Arivan, how do we do question number three? Uh, 76 divided minus 7 divided by 38 is 2 minus 2. Then 5 multiplied by minus 1 is 5. And then you add those and you get minus 7. Yeah, it will be minus 2 minus 5. So it will be minus 7. Yeah. Is the answer minus 7? Yeah. Great. So, fourth? Uh, minus 24. So, minus 19 minus 5 is minus 24. Great. Fifth? Uh, minus 43. Minus 38 and minus 10 would be minus 48. Minus 48 is the correct answer. Sixth? Oh, okay. I'm sorry? Uh, minus, minus 7. Yeah, minus 2 and minus 5 would be minus 7. Great. Seventh question? Uh, minus 8. Minus 3 and minus 5 is minus 8. Great. Eighth? Uh, minus 6. Yes, so it will be minus 1 and minus 5. So it will be minus 6. Yes. Great. Ninth? Uh, minus 19 and minus 10, minus 29. Great. Minus 29 is the correct answer. Tenth question? Uh, minus 2 plus minus 10 and minus 12. Yeah, minus 2. It will be minus 2 and minus 10. So the final answer will be minus 12. Yeah, great. So... We have understood what is uh, bead mass and uh, incidentally what we also did was the uh, the division of the integers with different signs. Any doubt till here, Aram? No, not at all. Okay, just do me a small favor, just note these, uh, these, uh, these rules for division of integers, these four rules for division of integers. 